every time Theo's going crazy, but it's time to pod. It's Saturday, April 13th. Welcome to Big Bit and K Win on NoFilter.net. Each week, we broadcast live across NoFilter.net, YouTube TV, Caffeine TV, anywhere you get your audio podcast. Tonight, we got a good one. Or excuse me, I just got from, back from Vegas. I'm still trying to shake out the cobweb. <laughs> it's the morning, and we got a good one. We're going to talk about the Masters. We're going to talk about Mike Trout's resurgence. We're going to talk about the NBA playoffs and more. I'm Kaywin. He's Big Ben, and he will not be catting for Tiger Woods today. I will not, but caddy, uh, Tiger Woods sets another record. 24 straight made cuts at the hardest tournament throughout the year. And I, golf clap for Tiger. Were you, were you nervous He's got a that shot. he was going to miss the cut this year? Uh, um... It's all from a physical standpoint. I think making the cut, he can do it. Now, the next 36 holes that play out, that's where the body might break down a little bit. But I think he sees making the cut as a win, another record. And it just, he comes and plays there every year, no matter what. Car wreck, whatever's going on in his life, like he'll be there. And I think he looks at making the cut as just a measure of he is still amongst the best. Because every golfer, Masters is the like Super Bowl of golf. Every player plays in it. I have the opportunity. So he says, well, I'm in the upper echelon of the best golfers in the world still. And there's something to be said for that. I don't know if there's an equivalent across any sport. Might be the Ken Griffey Jr. can still come and hit a home run, you know, off some of these guys that are throwing 104 miles per hour like the guy for the ace. But or I Edgar it's... Martinez can hit doubles into his 40s. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It does, it does. You do look this age. The more remarkable thing to me, VJ Singh. He's 61 years old. Wow. 61, and he made the cut. I think that's a little more remarkable. It won't get any play, any airtime, but VJ Singh, 61 making the cut. That's huge. You want me to tell you a little about what's going on with the Masters? Yeah, because this is out of my jurisdiction and out of my knowledge. Okay, so the Masters is the, as I said, the Super Bowl of them all in golf. But this year, more so than everything, there's been hyper focus on live versus the PGA, and you have people that live on the on the live side. Obviously, Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, who's up near the lead this year, and then you have guys that sit on the PGA side, Scotty Scheffler, who's right now playing better than anyone, along with Rory McIlroy and so forth. I think about Anthony Rendon here. Ooh. Angels. And here's why I do. So Rendon has come out and said baseball either needs to shorten the season, shorten the games, or so forth. Live is a – it's not 72 holes like it is for every traditional uh, golf tournament in the PGA where you have a cut. The players that don't make the cut go home. The other players get paid out. Live is guaranteed play out, pay out, and they only play 54 holes, and it's a shotgun chart. So it's just – you're going. You get – you probably spend – half the time you normally do on a course in PGA. So if you're Anthony Rendon, you're going to go play on live. And a lot of these other guys have just gone to live to make good money, not play his golf as much, and probably be with their family a little more. Better quality That's life. The way that, yeah, generational wealth, right? And then you had the PGA guys who say, I want to see my name etched in the trophies of old, right? I want to see Ben Hogan, all these guys. So it's two camps. And the leaderboards right now made up of a decent balance. So you got Scotty Scheffler at top along with Brooks Kofa and Max Homa. So whatever plays out post-tournament, but for this weekend, it is the best of both worlds. The top golfers from Live and then the top golfers from the PGA. Down the road, the Live golfers may not find themselves into the Masters. You have to do well enough for the majors. So it might that's where things may break when you don't see Live players playing in the top tournaments on the PGA Tour but rather they're ostracized because they're still playing on live. So it's only Saturday, a lot, a lot left to be seen, but the big, the big news is Tiger making the cut. He's only six shots out. Will he get there? Probably not. But then Scotty Scheffler and, and if, uh, if uh, Bryson DeChambeau, excuse me, start, continues to play like he is, it's going to be. Who do you have winning it? And I know you've got some action with Grover, Hodges, and Weezy. So, <laughs> so which golfers did you pick? So my my picks were uh, Roy McIlroy. It's is it a draft? It's a draft. So it's a five team five player draft, and then your top four players 
you, you, you take their score and then combine low score as well as the winner. Weezy had first pick. He took Scheffler. I think I took Rom. I have Rory. Um, someone else fell off. Oh, I have Aberg, who's like this Swedish kind of rookie that's playing well for me. I think I'm three strokes off Weezy. I just take guys. JT. I just has he actually didn't show up for the draft, but he just took the remaining players, and he's ironically enough winning right now. So that's how it all works out. <laughs> so Masters weekend, you will find me plopped on the couch tomorrow for a good portion of the day. Is that okay with Shar and Kennedy? Shar's taking off for uh, Kansas early in the morning with Kennedy. Nope, I'll have Kennedy. Kennedy will have um, a lot of some bluey. She'll be, she'll be a lot of bluey tomorrow. She'll make way for the Masters. So let's hear it now. Who's going to win the 2024 Masters? The 2024 Masters will be won by... This is going to be a great segue to, I believe, our next segment, not after Trout. Scotty Scheffler is the Boston Celtics of the PGA, PGA Tour. Right now. It's hard to bet against Scotty. Uh, if I had to... So is he the best golfer in the world right now? Best golfer in the world. Like not even not even close. On the PGA tour. Um day, week in, week out. If anyone Max Homa might have a chance. I'll give Max a chance. He's tied with the lead with, with Bryson. I think Bryson blows up. It's gonna be Max or Scotty. All right. Shifting gears to baseball. But before we transition, you mentioned Anthony Randone doesn't want to play 162. PGA versus Liv, maybe he should go play for the Savannah Bananas. Then he only has to play like 20 games, make some money, have some free time. There you go, Mr. Rendon. There's the fix. But I want to talk about his teammate who is healthy and who's playing at a high level, Mike Trout, off to a hot start. It's only 11 games, but he looks like he's the three-time MVP again. He's hitting over 300. I think he's got six or seven home runs at 11 games. And his war is currently at 0.9. It's on pace for 13. It's unheard of. When he won MVP in, what, 2019, 2016, 2014. So in 2014, his war was 8.3. 2016, his war was 8.7. 2019, his war was 7.8. Now, I don't think he will continue this toward pace. But even if he comes down to earth, he's back. And that's a good news for baseball and a good news for the West Coast. The Angels, they're playing with fool's gold because they played the Marlins. I think they'll come back down to earth. I think the Astros will get better. But we need Trout healthy, just like the NBA needs LeBron James and Steph Curry healthy. Yeah, you wondered if, um, God, you know, if Trout and Otani were healthy for a continual amount of time while they were both on the Angels, we might be having a singing a different song in terms of where Otani's at today. Now Trout, I feel like he's a he's a better one man band. Does that make sense? Like he's he's the Harry Styles of Major League Baseball. Yeah, apparently. Like he Trout has already come out and said he's gonna get on the base pass. He wants to get steal twenty on the base pass. He wants to seal twenty. He's come out and said that. And then you look at I think the West is open like and, and I think Trout's proved you don't need to be good on a good team to win MVP. That's just yeah. the case. I don't know if um, it would be an interesting story if he can will the Angels and maybe just stick around. Trout seems to me like he could be a guy that's a one-man club, like he s- sticks around with the Angels for his career. But I, I don't know when his contract's through. I don't know. I think he re-upped his contract, but I don't know how long it is. But the last couple of years, he struggled with injuries. And he struggled a little bit by Mike Trout standards. But he's back. He's hitting the fastball. He's smashing the curveball. And he looks good. And the West right now, we've got the Rangers. The A's are playing better than people have thought. And the Astros are on the bottom. And my M's haven't even peaked yet. No. no it's going to be a – I mean – you tell me if you were to say when's the most accurate time to look at when can you look at the the full scope and say all right that team is who they are and these teams are going to kind of 
continue to pro- progress how they are. I don't think we can say that after what 15, 16 games. I think it's a kick quarter of the way through the season. When he's in yeah, I think mid June you start to become who you are. But since Major League Baseball expanded their playoffs, everyone has a chance to be in the wild card. Even if you're a sub 500 team, more than likely you're only a couple games out of 500. And the Angels, sorry, a couple games out of the race. Yeah, and and Trout's going to be a player that you know. I guess I love the uh, dialogue that the A's, A's owner created and why they're going to Sacramento. It's like people will come to Sacramento, not to watch my team, but they'll come to watch Mike Trout, Sohei Otani. And Trout's still probably got, what, five, six good years in him? Yeah. I mean, he's a beast. What I was in Las saying? Vegas. I didn't realize the A's stadium is going to be where the Tropicana Hotel is, like across from the MGM, almost – kitty corner from luxor and so supposedly home plate is going to be closer towards the airport and so you can look out into new york new york like the outfield is like the strip in new york new york and it kind of looks like sydney opera house and i just kept thinking those major league baseball visiting teams are gonna have so much fun in vegas (laughs) Like, there's going to be so many DNPs the next day. You're a like, if it's an early league. game, you better take the home team. The, the A's are going to be a serious title contender because the visiting team's going to be hung over in jail. What do you think happened that first three years? I mean, the, the Las Vegas goal of nights. I mean, and I don't know if the ladies party as hard as, as the men. I got to imagine they do. Yeah. But look at what happened with the Aces. Look what happened with the Golden Knights. The Golden Knights won the Stanley Cup last year. They were in the Stanley Cup final their first year. Yeah, bet heavy on the A's yeah. the first year there in Vegas. That's why LeBron wants to retire and own a basketball team in Vegas because he knows they can win. That's the real home field advantage, playing in Vegas. Visiting teams have no chance. No, no, no. I'll, I'll take an off day when we're out in Vegas. And where are you going to go stay in the surrounding area that's really going to isolate your team from that? You can't. You can't. There's no no feasible way you can possibly do that. Um, let's talk about that. What are you going to stay at the win? Encore beach parties <laughs> going on Sunday night swim. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you can go get lost, coaches included, too, right? You're yeah. always, I mean, you can go get lost in Vegas pretty easily. A lot of DMPs. I Do you think that. they will just transfer their per diem to like the pit boss at the, the win and just yeah. say, hey, just give, just give me some chips. Let's let it ride. I'll be <laughs> there. I'm landing at like seven. Get my chips ready. Well, the 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 best part of this would see you just have guys at the sports book as the athletes potentially come in just cheering for them because they just want them some you know a couple grand. Yeah, it's um, I would agree with LeBron's assessment. Not only can you win there, I think that's a basketball city more so than anything. Yeah, you know, and it's I, I don't know how baseball is going to fly there. To be honest, if I'm being there's a lot of games. It doesn't seem like a baseball purist town. Listen, I was there for two days and I was just worn out. Right? Could you imagine playing like eighty plus home games and then the noise and the distractions? You think about it. All your friends are going to be in Vegas all the time throughout the year. Bachelor parties, thirtieths, fortieths, work conventions. (laughs) Vegas puts. And the, the fact that your your um have, your average lifespan will probably come down by a couple of years, but you know, <laughs> it's gotta be something around that too. All right, let's talk hoops. All right. I think about a month back when the Celtics were running away with the East and the NBA on fire, beating everyone by like 30, 40 points. I asked you, Celtics or the field, you took the Celtics. Now it's been Several weeks since then, Celtics are still coasting along. I'm going to say, do you want to go chalk and go Celtics and Nuggets or the field to win it all? The the East is beat up. Like the, there's a lot of teams that are just on in like running on fumes. God, can you trust the Celtics in the playoffs after these last few years? Like, no. It just seems it seems like they run out of gas. Marcus Smart's not around this year. They have a shorter bench than ever. Their starters are unbelievable. 
but Perzingis is known to get hurt. Yep. Jalen Brown and Tatum are known to take bad shots and turn the ball over in clutch moments. So you're trying to talk me out of it. I don't know if I'm going to let you do that. And if you're giving me the Nuggets, too, still probably the best player in base basketball again this year, unfortunately. I don't think Shy played well enough uh, to unseat Nikolai. Or Nikola. Um, God. I just in lieu of me not wanting to see a Celtics Nuggets, no, I'm not going to take it. I'll take the field. I'll take the field at this point. I'm with you. And I'm taking the field in the West. Give me all nine teams in the West. I think the winner is coming out of the West. Okay. The Nuggets are the perennial favorite, but look at the Mavs. Look at what they've done. They've changed their lineup around. They've Great got Gaffer, PJ Washington. They're playing defense. Minnesota's got Cat back, OKC. We kind of set it as a moonshot like OKC, but they're right in it. Even the Clippers, if Kawhi can get healthy, they could win it. Lakers, don't count out the Lakers. Someone on ESPN said the only team the Lakers should be afraid of are the Nuggets, and they're right. But other than that, the Lakers could come out of the West with the right matchup. I think this is the year that one of the young guys steps forward and wins it all. And give me the Timberwolves. I'm going, this is the year of the Ant-Man. Ant's going to do it. You think Ant's something like kind of, because his progression throughout this year has been like, he's a new, not the face of the NBA, but could be just Pretty based close. on his trajectory. And then you look at, I mean, no one, no one thought which Gobert and, and uh, Cat, right? They're, I wouldn't call those guys soft, but you kind of, how, how is that going to all mix together? And it's just been Carl Anthony Towns just played out of his mind. Or no, excuse me, not Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, the big who's, baguette. No, no. Who's the guy? Anthony Edwards, excuse me. Yeah, man. Uh, and then you got. Got Mike think, Conley at point. You got McDaniels. Oh, it's Con like Conley's the Swiss the Army man. night. Conley's the VJ Singh in the NBA. Yeah, still making the cut, still steady. Exactly. <laughs> I think the West, I think I agree with you. They're gonna someone's gonna come out of the West. The thing I fear is that the team's gonna be so beat up because there's gonna be some tough matchups. Like the Suns yeah. could play the Golden State Warriors for that playing game. Yeah. That would be a great matchup, in my opinion. Just seeing Durant and where those where those two players are. They're six teams better than the teams that you're like Steph Curry, Kevin Durant. Probably three years back, top of their top of their game, and that all of a sudden there's six teams that are better than them in the same division. It's crazy to think that LeBron, Steph, and KD could potentially all be in the play-in game. Like um, that just shows you where the NBA is going. Like there's young stars, there's people taking that next steps. Actually, I'll take it one step further. LeBron James, Steph Curry, and KD. We'll be in Cancun before Cinco de Mayo. They're going to all be out of the playoffs. There it is. They'll be at Senior Frogs. They'll be at Squid Row. They'll be at Mandela. They're out. This is the new version of the NBA. It's the new, new NBA. I, Celtics are good. Suns can't trust them. No can't thing. trust them. Warriors, I just don't like their path because they just get an opportunity to lose to the Nuggets more than likely. Eight versus one, that's not looking good. And Lakers, I don't trust AD. LeBron doesn't have enough around him. D'Angelo Russell can shoot here or there, but consistently, I don't like the Lakers. They are all in Cancun. We might, hey, if you want to get an autograph or a photograph of Steph Curry, LeBron, and KD together, it's going to be in Cancun come early May. I don't, I don't disagree. I, I can't wait to watch the Thunder in the playoffs. I think Oklahoma City is just going to go bananas. I mean, I got to imagine that town. There's not much going on in Oklahoma City except for the Thunder. How Maybe. long is Shar in Kansas City? Uh, five days. Ooh, I was going to say we could sneak out to an OKC playoff game. <laughs> Fred Kennedy, me and Kennedy, just put her like in the front, the baby Bjorn. He'll be like hangover. <laughs> Or just take the same flight. Yeah, take the same flight as charge. She goes up to Salina. I I go down to Oklahoma City. That that probably. I mean, we can make that happen. But 
feasibility of Kennedy being well taken for is kind of slim. Who do you have coming out of the West? Minnesota? Yeah, I'm going Minnesota. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm just going to go OKC. Okay, see. I get it. If it's not Minnesota, I'm going Dallas. I like Dallas. Do you like Dallas? Yeah. Luca. Luca. Kyrie finally got it finally got it going. Finally got it going. They've got so much defense around them. It doesn't matter that those two don't play defense. But here's what we have to see. We have to see Luca versus the Clippers. And then somehow, some way, we gotta get Luca in the Mavs versus the Suns. Like that has been consistent over the last couple of years. The matchups, the battles, the intensity. I love it. Best time of the year. Okay. Go Timberwolves, go Thunder. Two, yeah. Would you consider Minnesota, the Timberwolves, a small market team? Absolutely. Where are they at? Min- Minneapolis? Yeah. Who else is in Minneapolis? Justin Jefferson. <laughs> the Vikings? Yeah, the Twins. I guess that's that's a decent sized market. I love OKC. I like these NBA teams with just nothing else going on in the city. Portland, Memphis. Uh, I guess you, does Utah have a? They don't have a hockey team. They don't have a baseball team. No football no. team. Jazz. Utah's so Oklahoma, getting like a, a soccer. Utah's getting something. It was in the news. I think they're they getting mean, hockey. They're getting the Phoenix Coyotes. Oh yeah. Enjoy them. All right, out east. No surprises for you. I I do want to watch Paulo play. Yeah. I don't think the Celtics come out. I think someone gets them. I don't know who it is. It's not going to be the Bucks because something's going on in that locker room. They're playing no defense, and they just don't have the right chemistry. Is that coaching change? Like Doc's not not the guy? I don't know if you can blame it on Doc. you got to blame it on someone. He might be the fall guy, but the Bucks are heading the wrong direction. But the Cavs could come out. The Magic could come out. And don't sleep on the Heat. Like the Heat did it before, playing to the finals. They still got Jimmy Buckets. They got Bam. They got Tyree Hero. They got Scary Terry. I got the Heat coming out. Heat versus Minnesota. Hmm. It will be the lowest watched NBA finals of all time, but it will be great for the NBA because it will be a new chapter as Ant-Man wins his first title. I just... I just thought about this. Miami is definitely the Vegas of the East Coast in some some respects. Gambling, not so much, but the allure and what's going on in the city. You go look at the other cities, like Boston, like not so much. Milwaukee, well, New York, you can get in trouble. Cleveland, Orlando, Indiana. Like we've seen Miami come out of nowhere in these playoffs, and I think it is that those long series. Like people are getting out to club live. Like they're going out on the beach. They're doing something. Yeah. I mean, walking in that sand can just drudge your legs. So I don't mind your pick. Go Heat. Right. Go Spolstra. Go Riley. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I got to wrap this bad boy up. 1035 right on time. At Big Ben Kwin underscore. At Big Ben Kwin underscore. Everywhere on social media. That's TikTok. That's Twitter. That's Threads. That's Instagram. Download, listen, subscribe, and five stars anywhere you get your podcast. And if you want to watch us live, you want to see these faces, you want to see this banter, you want to see this energy in action, nofilter.net, caffeine TV, YouTube TV. Tiger, even through three. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Good luck on the couch tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy the day. 